Medical malpractice reform and tort reform are two very popular topics today. Let's discuss medical malpractice lawsuits and what is necessary for someone to file a lawsuit against a physician, against a hospital, a nurse, or other medical provider. In Arizona, uh, it is required after filing a medical malpractice lawsuit that during the what we call discovery or disclosure process, uh, the plaintiff's attorney, the attorney that is filing the lawsuit on behalf of a, an injured party, must uh, provide an affidavit from a physician or other medical expert in the same specialty uh, indicating that there is a what we call a good faith basis to file the malpractice lawsuit. This is necessary and this is one of the things that uh, prevents what we would sometimes call frivolous lawsuits from going forward. It is very, very important that uh, the plaintiff's attorney have an expert in the same field because the plaintiff's attorney is not going to file a lawsuit without having an expert to back up the claims. So uh, in almost every malpractice lawsuit, before an attorney is going to file a lawsuit, she or he is going to do an investigation, retain an expert, or at least a consulting expert who's going to review the records, is going to re uh, meet potentially with the injured party to determine whether or not there has been malpractice. So in Arizona, it is very difficult to file or almost impossible to file a lawsuit without first having uh, the expert to back that up. Today, it is very expensive to bring a medical malpractice lawsuit. Uh, in many, many situations, it can cost upwards of $100,000 to $150,000 or more in pretrial cost uh, to prepare and what we call work up a malpractice lawsuit. So uh, attorneys are not going to take the risk of filing perhaps a questionable case unless there are good facts, unless there is a qualified expert to substantiate and bring this lawsuit. The idea of frivolous lawsuits is just ridiculous. Uh, there are not frivolous lawsuits. There are safeguards in place both with uh, the statute as well as uh, the cost, case precedent, that is uh, cases that determine what is necessary, the standards that are required to bring a lawsuit. So uh, frivolous lawsuits just aren't filed anymore and have not been filed. In Arizona, the process and requirements for filing a, ma uh, a medical malpractice lawsuit are very significant so that uh, it, it's just not a simple uh, procedure to proceed with filing a medical malpractice lawsuit against a doctor against the hospital. Again, we've got to have uh, a good faith basis after reviewing, consulting with an expert, and once the lawsuit is filed during the initial disclosure process, we have to provide an affidavit signed by a doctor in the same specialty indicating or uh, attesting to under oath that there is in fact a good faith basis to file the lawsuit against that particular medical provider. In addition, there is substantial case law that details, in other words, prior cases that discuss what is required uh, to prove a case. Medical negligence involves uh, a duty, that means that there is a physician-patient relationship, a breach of that duty, that's where the uh, expert comes in to discuss how the doctor violated uh, that duty or broke the duty, failed to uh, practice at that level that was required. Causation, in other words, the breach of that duty uh, directly caused or was proximate cause of some type of injury. And then lastly, damages. These are all part of the process that's required to file a medical malpractice lawsuit. So it's simply not preparing papers, going down to the court and filing them. It is very complicated. So for uh, uh, whether it be doctors, insurance company executives, members of the Chamber of Commerce, or legislators, again claiming that uh, there is an abuse of this system or there is 
the courts being inundated with frivolous lawsuits could not be further from the truth. If you believe that you, a close family member or a friend, has been a victim of medical negligence, please feel free to give me a call, Craig Simon, 480-745-2450, or visit our website, simonlawgroupaz.com.